This is the single most urgent program we have. You will see this reflected in the GitHub commits and the timestamps associated with them and the velocity of the coding. This is the single most important update. Okay, so what is Charles talking about? Well, I'll tell you. He's talking about Laos, okay? We're going to dig into what that means, and, well, could that be the turning point for Cardano? I don't know, maybe going mainstream, bringing on the institutions, or maybe we see a reflected in price action. Speaking of price action, we're going to talk about that in this video as well. And I'm going to give my thoughts on the SNEC proposal to the ADA Treasury. There's a lot of talk. Should we be giving money to a mean coin project? Should we not? There's good arguments on both sides. I'm going to give my take on it as well. And of course, we'll take a look at price action. So make sure to like the video and let's jump in. Now, this was a short clip of Charles talking about Laos and well, how that's going to make Cardano the best in the industry. Take a listen. And Laos is going to make Cardano one of the safest, fastest, bestest blockchains. Ah, oh, so good. The little kiss, you know? He said, not only did he give the kiss, he said, ah, bah, bah. all right, let's go back to this video. So the clip you saw in the beginning was about 20 seconds in. Let's start it from the beginning. It's about a minute long clip and I'll give my thoughts and then we'll move on. Let's uh, take a listen. This is Charles during a uh, video slash AMA talking about the importance of Laos and why they're going around the clock 24 seven with the developers to get this protocol upgrade out. Let me be very clear. We are currently resourcing a 24-7 follow the sun development model, which means we will have developers on multiple continents in staggered shifts. So they work during the day, the night, and the weekends to write Haskell code for the Haskell node for Laos. This is the single most urgent program we have. You will see this reflected in the GitHub commits and the timestamps associated with them and the velocity of the coding. Any person in the engineering division who said we don't want to do it or we don't think it's possible has either been reassigned or terminated. And new people are being brought in whose sole purpose is to do this. Because it's absolutely competitively necessary that we get Laos in. It's been delayed too long. We need it in the protocol. And you've seen it with certain firms being terminated and new firms being brought in that are more agile let me be very so, clear obviously this is a very important urgent matter for charles and the developers on cardano um you know i was having a conversation with a community member over the weekend and we we're talking about the midnight airdrop and you know kind of comparing it to some of the other airdrops on other chains and how this one is definitely takes a lot more steps can be a lot more confusing for a majority of people. And we're sitting here, I think we're at an impasse with Cardano. This is just my personal opinion. I've been a long time Cardano holder. I've been holding it since early 2021, late 2020. And I think we're at a point now where the blockchain is so good. It's secure, it's transparent, it's fast, it can scale. It's got governance, it's got a treasury. It's got everything you need. It's like that perfect, I keep going back to restaurants because my my background prior to getting into this industry was in the hospitality and restaurant industry. It's like having the best restaurant. Now we just need to advertise that, hey, we got the best food. We got the best seating, the best ambiance. We need to get people in here. And so what I was talking to a community member over the weekend was we need like a team. And I don't know if it's going to be from the Cardano Foundation, from IOG, from I don't know, any of these these entities that you know, back Cardano or have input in Cardano's roadmap and plans. But we need to get like that side of it going and we need to make it sexy for retail. And we also need to start pitching some of these enterprises and blockchains because if people actually come in and they build on Cardano and they launch, they can see the value and why. A lot of people say, why is it worth $30 billion? You can come in and see why it's worth $30 billion, but I feel like that side needs to start ramping up. And then you get into the whole conversation of, well, Snack, right? Shout out to the Snackies. My uh, largest meme, well, my second largest meme coin holding now. So there is a, a lot of talk about this Snack proposal. Uh, this is posted by Stakepool, underscore at the end. 
I voted yes on the SNEC proposal because it was very easy to decide and I didn't need to do any mental gym to try to justify my vote, like certain other D reps who do not necessarily do the same due diligence for other proposals. It's not rocket science, just good for Cardano. So if you missed out, SNEC uh, submitted a proposal to borrow, I say borrow with emphasis, 5 million ADA. They want to use it for exchange listings and a growth of the ecosystem. And you have some people like Stakepool here are saying, I voted yes, they're good for Cardano. They've been around for a while. They've proven themselves, yada, yada. You have the other side are like, why are we giving 5 million ADA to a meme coin? It's a meme coin. Uh, my vote would unequivocally be yes. This community has proven, this team has proven its value and worth to the Cardano ecosystem. And not to mention, this is a loan, which means they would have to pay it back. It's not a grant. Even if it was a grant, I would still vote yes. Everyone's like, we don't want to pay for exchange listings. Well, if you don't want to pay for certain things like exchange listings or to get a stable coin into your ecosystem, don't complain when the price is stagnant. Don't complain when you see the other blockchains like Solana and Sui that are rising extremely rapidly in, in its ecosystem and total value. And it's, you're seeing all these new things and integrations and this company is doing this and a, a sweet treasury, a Solana treasury. Don't complain when those things don't happen if you don't want to put in the work and if you don't want to reward the people that I've been building here. Uh, the amount of holders on Snack, I believe, and someone correct me in the comments, comment section if I'm wrong, the largest holder base out of all, any CNT in the entire Cardano ecosystem. Uh, and again, this is a team that's been around. It's got a big community. These guys are absolutely amazing. Any of you that have ever met these people in real life, these guys are the absolute real deal. And so I am 100% for not only giving it as a loan, but I would be completely fine if it was a grant. They would never have to return that money back. Look at other ecosystems. Polkadot wasted 500 grand to change a logo on CoinMarketCap. And we're talking about a the number one Cardano native token project community in the Cardano ecosystem that was like, hey, we want to start going mainstream. We want to start getting links on some of these exchanges. In turn, it'll bring more people into the Cardano ecosystem. I am all for it. Now, we're going to talk about price action. There's a pretty bullish setup on the Cardano chart. Can you get to a dollar, dollar 20? I'll get my thoughts. But I wanted to, I wanted to let you know, you know, today was, um, try to do at least one or two Cardano videos a week. And today was was like pulling teeth this morning uh, between myself and Gina. Well, here, how about, I'll just show you what happened. Then we'll come back and we'll dig into the Cardano chart and we'll take a look at how the asset has performed. Hey, we're doing a Cardano video today, right? Uh, yes, 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 Cardano. Cardano. Okay, well, are you, are you ready? Um, give me one second. I'm almost ready. Well, the live stream starts in five minutes, so you got to get off your phone. I know. I just, uh, I'm in the middle of something. Just give me one second. Uh, are you playing steak on your phone again? Listen, I got an 11. I got to figure out if I got to double down or stand. So just give me one second. I think I'm going to double this and I promise I'll be ready to go. You know what? All right, let's do it. All right. So if you're feeling frisky. Download the Stake app. Big thank you to Stake for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's talk about Cardano returns. To Charles's point, we have everyone has uh, long-term memory loss, or is it short-term memory loss? We forget, right? We're so zoned in, honed in on the last day or week or month. Take a look at these numbers, okay? This says Cardano returns all time, one year, year to day, 180, 90, 30, 7, 24, and 4, okay, hours. Okay, over the last, we're going to focus on the last week and a, a week and more. So over the last seven days, Cardano's up 7%. Eh, not too big. Over the last 30 days, it's up 9%. 90 days, 22%. 180 days, 20%. Year to date is only up 2.3%. But over the one year, so from September 8th of last year, 2024, to September 8th, 2025, which is today, the time of recording, Cardano is 2.5x. Okay, and all time, it's up 3,800%. So although... It hasn't 50x like some people thought it would. Maybe your portfolio, your Cardano Holdings hasn't gone from $1,000 to uh, $50,000 or $100,000. It still performed very well. And this is in uh, the market 
cycle where Wall Street has dominated. Retail isn't even here. And we know Cardano has been a very retail-driven chain, retail-driven price action. And so when those people start to come in, as we see rate cuts, and I don't know, maybe Trump starts cutting checks with the tariff revenue. And I don't know. All the stuff that's going to happen that's going to bring retail in hasn't even happened. And Cardano's still up 200%. And then when we take a look at the chart here, this is eight on the daily. Okay. Now we take a look on the, excuse me, that was the four hour. This is the daily. ADA coming out and essentially almost putting in a potential cup and handle pattern here. Now, this handle will need to fill out. Okay. And this might take maybe two days, maybe three days, maybe a week. I don't know. But we draw our Fibonacci levels from the swing low to the swing high. And we target that 50% Fibonacci level, which I've made tons of money on, on trades, is just snagging that 50, right? Shorting or longing at the 50 on the way up or on the way down. And that is currently sitting at 82.56 cents with Cardano currently trading at 86.04 cents. Ideally, we have that handle come out, retail or test that 50% Fibonacci retracement level from that move up from around 78 cents to 87 cents, which was its high it hit today. And uh, what the hell was, oh, I was drawing a trend line. And then if we take the depth of this cup and handle pattern, and we take it to the 50% level, let's say just tip out there, you're looking at ADA price action going up to around 90, we'll call it 90 cents. Then you start getting a little bit of follow through, you start getting whales, whales to start jumping in, ecosystem starts heating up, I don't know, maybe we get a Laos, Laos gets shipped, the night token, people start claiming, people are bullish, I don't know, a lot of things can happen, 90 cents would be the target, and then you're looking really at a dollar, which is a swing high we had back on the, just the 17th of August. So it wasn't a long time ago, less than a month ago where Cardano was trading over $1. Now this is a slower moving asset. When I say slower, it's relative to the rest and how it's moving. Look at products like Hyperliquid, Solana, Ethereum's been on a massive rally. Unless you believe Cardano is absolutely dead, a big run is coming. The timing is what everyone tries to nail. And I'm not gonna try to nail the timing because I don't know. Maybe it happens over the next two weeks. Maybe it happens tomorrow. Maybe it happens right now. As we're recording this video, you start seeing the chart go up. I don't know. Either way, if you have Cardano in your bag, if you have Cardano in your portfolio, uh, you know it's a project that's not going away. It's gonna continue to grow. It's gonna continue to onboard users. Hope you enjoyed this video. We have more Cardano videos uh, in a entire Cardano playlist on our channel. Go check it out. And also, come watch our live show Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Till the next one, peace.